How to use Asana for project management best practices. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Asana. So let's get into it. Now, Asana is a free to use, amazing project management tool that can help you in keeping track of all that you are doing. Now, to get started with Asana, simply head on over to asana.com and click on Get Started. Once you click on Get Started, you can sign up with your email address. I'm just going to proceed with my Google account because I already have an account on Asana. And once you do that, you will be led to your dashboard. Now, you might have a couple of onboarding questions, but you can just skip those and move right ahead. Now, over here, you will have a default project that will be created. So I have this default project over here, but I'm going to archive this because I no longer need it. And we're going to build our project from scratch. Now, before we build our project, let's take a look at the different functionalities of Asana. First off, you have a home section that can provide you with a bird's eye view. You have a my tasks section, which can allow you to see all of the tasks that have been assigned to you. Then you have an inbox for messaging, reporting, and then portfolios and goals. Below that, you have your start boards as well as projects. And then you have your team. Now, for different workspaces, you can build different teams. So you can go on to the top left over here and click on add another account, and you can build different teams as well if you are looking to accomplish multiple different goals. So this is the Durden team, and I am running the Durden business in this. However, if I have another marketing agency and I want to manage that on Asana as well, I can go on ahead and click on new workspace and then just build a separate team or separate workspace for that particular agency. Now, let's go ahead and start building our project manager. So to do that, I like to go into a new project on the left, and then you have three options. You can import your spreadsheets, use a template, or start with a blank project. Now, I'm going to start with a blank project, and then later on, I'll show you guys how you can customize templates as well. Now for this, I like to add our project name. So let's say this is just project one and the privacy is going to be for all the members of this workspace. And then you have the default views. I'm going to keep it as a board or a list view. These are my preferred views. You can go with whichever one you prefer. I'm going to go with the list view first. And then we have project one created. Now in your first project, you have all of these different views that are going to be added and then you can go into the first section, which is the project overview, and then you can add some information about the project. So let's say this is going to be a paragraph where I'm going to insert some basic info about our project. We gather here to launch our ecom site like this, and then I can do a slash and then add like a bulleted list just so it's easier for all of the members of my workspace to see what this project space is for. Below that you have your project roles where you can add different people into different roles such as members, managers, or administrators. And you also have commentators that can be guests in your workspace. Below that you can add goals and connect portfolios and add key resources and milestones. This can help you in making sure that your progress is going to be very efficient. So I can add a milestone, which might be website first draft, and this might be segregated launch, where I launch my website to a small number of people. Full website launch, that's our second milestone, like this. And after that, let's say I have my third milestone, which is going to be 1K views on our website. And then our goal, and I can add a goal over here, and I can create a new goal, which is going to be for the second quarter of the year. Let's say I want to go ahead and move into Q2. I want this to be a public goal for my entire team, which is going to be 1K in retail, like this. And then you can add a parent goal if you want. And you know, these kinds of things can just help boost the morale of your team. Now these are just some of the basic settings. Let's go into the actual website management. So over here, you're gonna have your list and in your list, you can get started with building different tasks. Now these are the milestone tasks that are added by default on top, which are not going to be uh, you know, a very primary task. These might be just larger goals that can be completed. Now I'm going to add our first section, which is going to be tasks, then I can add in progress and then I can add my third section which is going to be completed 
and then another section which might be stuck like this. Now in this way I can start adding tasks. Let's say our first task is to build the website header like this. And then if I click on the task, I can provide more information such as the person that is assigned to do it. Then you have the due date to accomplish this task as well as the project it is linked to. Then you also have dependencies. So dependencies can be when a task is going to block another task. This is really essential to add, especially if two different teams are working on things that need to happen side by side. So if the design team is supposed to send the media content to the development team and then they can upload it to the website and you know fix the alignments and do that, then that means that the design team is blocking or the design team is stopping the development team from doing their work. Having these dependencies can be a great tool to make sure that everyone remains accountable for their tasks. Below that, you can add descriptions as well as subtasks. Subtasks are essential if you are going to be adding larger tasks that need different steps to be completed. For example, if I have to build a website header, the first step might be to choose brand name font, and then I might also have to choose coloring like this, and you know, you can add multiple different subtasks. Now, what happens if you want to display more information about the task directly over here? For that, you have to upgrade to a premium plan on Asana, and then you have the option to add fields. So currently I am on the trial version, so I can add as many fields as I want, such as, let's say I want to add single select, and then I want this to be priorities, and then I can choose the option name, so this might be low, medium, and then another option called high and I'll change the colors a bit. So medium and then high priority is going to be red. And then I am going to click on create field. Now for any task, I can select the priority of that task. Let's say this is on medium priority and you can add other types of fields as well, such as number based fields where you can display the potential revenue of a task as well. After that, you have your board views, which are the same thing essentially, and then you have them in a more visual format so you can move tasks from one bucket to the other. Then you have a timeline view, which can help you in seeing when what is supposed to happen, and this can give you a better idea of the flow of your work. After that, you have a calendar, workflow, and dashboard. In your dashboard, you can add multiple different types of widgets. Now, for some people, they might not require a lot of these tools, such as maybe you have the timeline view, so you might not want to use the calendar. So you can click on calendar and click on tab actions and click on remove. You can later on add these views back if you do feel like you need them. However, if they are unnecessary, you can just click on remove tab to remove any unnecessary tabs. Now in our dashboard, we have this basic little summary and we can click on add chart to add different types of charts to display different types of information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Asana for project management. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.